This is gameplay! How? How's it going, guys? Nintendo enthusiast here. So today's topic, I actually wanted to talk about Hellblade, the sequel that we saw during the Game Awards last night that absolutely blew my mind. And I know what you're thinking, Hellblade 2 is not a Nintendo game, why are you covering it on this channel? Well, it is of course a sequel to a game that is on Switch, and I'm gonna get to talking about that. But first off, let's talk about Unreal Engine 5. Last night we saw a game running in Unreal Engine, and we actually also got an Unreal Engine 5 demo that is playable on PS5, Series X, and S, and I'm assuming PC as well. First off, Hellblade 2, this game of course isn't coming to Switch, but it is coming to Xbox and PC, and it is one of my most anticipated games. This game looks absolutely amazing. I cannot believe this is in-engine. And for those of you who don't understand what that means, it means this game is running in real time, and this is what gameplay is going to look like. This isn't a cinematic trailer. For anyone who didn't know that and they saw this trailer, they would assume that this is a cinematic CG trailer. But no, this is in-engine and real time. It is pretty damn crazy what we are getting to with graphics nowadays, and it furthers my interest in possibly getting a more powerful Nintendo Switch down the line. Of course, we got all those rumors about the Switch Pro coming this year, and it ended up just being the Switch OLED model. But of course, there are more rumors suggesting that we are actually going to get a more powerful Switch next year. But we'll just have to wait and see. I'm, I'm, I'm done believing all those rumors and stuff until I actually see something. But yeah, I think we're getting to the point where it's really time for Nintendo to start thinking about maybe upgrading its hardware a little bit. I'm not much of a graphics nut. As long as the game plays well and it's fun to play, that can get the job done. But of course, it's also nice getting these gorgeous, lush graphics and just getting more engrossed into games. This is coming from someone whose top two games of the year were probably Metroid Dread and It Takes Two, which aren't necessarily amazing in terms of the graphics. But yeah, back Back to Hellblade 2, we actually got a little bit of gameplay in here. It's not much, she's mainly just running and then throwing these spears. I'm assuming that the running part and the spear throwing part are the two parts of this trailer that are actually playable. The rest of it is cinematics, but of course in engine cinematics, and it looks absolutely insane. I cannot wait to see more of Senua's story. I cannot recommend Hellblade 1 enough. It is on Nintendo Switch, and it actually is a pretty good port of the game, considering how graphically demanding it is. I was surprised that they even brought it to Switch at all. Now before I get to the second part of this video, which is all about Unreal Engine 5, which of course Hellblade 2 is running on, I first wanted to show off my live reaction to Hellblade 2 because I honestly wouldn't have anywhere else to share it. I don't have an Xbox channel, this is of course a Nintendo channel, and I am stretching a little bit sharing it here, but I figured you guys would like to see my genuine reaction from Hellblade 2, because keep in mind, Hellblade 1 is one of my favorite games ever. Here was my live reaction, and then afterwards, we're going to talk about the Matrix demo and Unreal Engine 5. When I saw this, I could not believe it was actual gameplay but what? it is hellblade? captured by the team in this is hellblade past weekend two years Sit ago back and get ready H hellblade. to experience yeah a new level hellblade here we go immersion. oh my god <laughs> yeah. with our swords oh my god i'm so excited this is in engine this looks like a cg trailer no way <laughs> yes the music is back how is this in engine? Oh my god. Is it about to switch to gameplay with these graphics? Oh my god, we're getting gameplay! <laughs> this looks so good! Oh my god! This is gameplay! How? Oh my god, this looks so good. This this is oh my god, this looks insane. I'm this with headphones. <laughs> this is truly Smell the next generation of it's graphics. Like this looks so good. Look at the bones. That's going to be you. It it wasn't a cinematic intro, Mike. It was in engine. That's what that's what they said. That Microsoft funding with, with Ninja Theory. <laughs> throw the throw it. How is that in engine? Look at the like the stuff on her shirt. It, the, like the way it's blowing in the wind. Oh my god, it looks so good. That tr oh my god, it just switched to gameplay. Again. I love how seamless it is. Look at like the running animation and like the clothes and everything. Like like a lot of people have been wanting Xbox to get was like these big cinematic storytelling exclusives. And that's what Hellblade's gonna be. Hellblade 2, I mean. Oh, man. That was amazing. 
So let's talk about the Matrix demo. This thing honestly really impressed me as well. Now don't get me wrong, there are some games that already look really close to these graphics, like Watch Dogs Legion for example. It didn't necessarily review very great, but I thought it was a really pretty game and it looks honestly really close to this Unreal Engine 5 demo, but it's the other aspects of this demo that really impressed me. Number one, it goes to the damage on the cars. Really impressive the way they react to each other. Everything breaks exactly how you would expect it to in real life. And not just that, but the sound I actually noticed was really good as well. Like if you rammed into a car and a mirror went flying off, you would actually hear the mirror hit the ground, bounce around, and it would sound legitimately like a real mirror hitting the concrete. Now, aside from that, I'm just really impressed that they actually gave us this entire world to explore. This is basically like an entire setting of what could be an open world game. And I'm not sure if they're ever gonna actually use this city for a game, but it seems like a lot of work went into this and a lot of the textures, a lot of the lighting, all of it looks really good in Unreal Engine 5. And keep in mind, Epic Games confirmed that Unreal Engine 5 is compatible on Nintendo Switch. Now the extent of that, I'm not really sure. I doubt we'll ever get anything that looks this good with all of this on screen in terms of the cars, the people, the traffic, all that stuff. But the fact that Unreal Engine 5 is currently already compatible on Switch makes me think that we might see a lot of upcoming games come to Switch and if not this Switch, then definitely the more powerful one that, let's face it, probably isn't going to be nearly as powerful as the PS5 or Series X. I mean, it is going to be a handheld device, I'm sure, so you can't expect it to have home console power, but the fact that Unreal Engine 5 is compatible on Switch is really exciting and full of potential for future games on the platform. Now, lastly, for this demo, I wanted to talk about the action scene in the very beginning. It's very scripted. You only have a few spots where you're even able to shoot to make these cars explode and go crazy. But what we're actually seeing on screen, it's crazy that it's all in engine. Once again, just like Hellblade 2, this is not a cinematic. Someone is actually playing this and it just blows my mind. It's simple as that. It really impresses me. The chain reaction of all the cars hitting each other, that doesn't happen every single time you play the demo. It, it, it will change based on your actions in the demo, even though they are limited to only shooting a few spots at a time. And yeah, I keep stressing it, but it all just really impresses me. Between Hellblade 2 and this Unreal Engine 5 Matrix demo, I just can't wait to see what the future holds for Unreal Engine 5 on PS5 and Series X, as well as with Nintendo, because, I mean, there are those rumors of a more powerful Switch, cross our fingers, but I would really love to see some graphically demanding games make it to Nintendo hardware in the future. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to gush all about Unreal Engine 5 and hear what you guys have to say about it. Did the Hellblade 2 trailer impress you? What about the Matrix demo? Have you checked it out yet? Let me know everything down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video or you like reviews and reactions and news, all that stuff, Maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. It would really mean a lot. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. See ya.